Hello everyone, my name is Megan. Welcome to our gun room. Uh, as you can see in the background, we have a couple of our guns displayed. Uh, we have a Chris Vector, Scorpion, 300 Blackout, a 9mm PCC, and back behind me we have both of our competition rifles. Um, today, well first I should say this is my very first YouTube coordinated video. Um, I've posted some videos in the past but they've all been of me shooting and this one will be the first one where I actually go into detail on what I do after I've shot my guns or shot many rounds through my guns. Um, I'm going to actually break down my gun and give it a good cleaning and I'm going to bring you through that process so hopefully uh, when you're looking at new guns and you're ready to purchase a pistol you're ready to go and clean it after you've shot a few rounds. Um, the big thing that I would like to share with you is that cleaning your gun frequently is probably the best thing you can do when it comes to gun ownership. Uh, I've heard a lot of people probably in the last couple of years say that they may only clean their gun once a year and these are people that are competing regularly and I honestly I have no idea how they make it through that. Um, gun malfunctions to me are one of those things that you can avoid and it's as simple as cleaning your gun. If you have a, a fresh gun on competition day, it's pretty unlikely that you're going to have a gun malfunction. I mean, there's, there's things that will go wrong, don't get me wrong, but when you have a dirty gun, that just causes so many issues. So if you're thinking about competing, whether it's just in a pistol league or three gun like what I shoot or a shotgun, whatever you pursue in the gun community, clean your gun. So let's get in this and actually dive into the mechanics of an MMP made by Smith & Wesson. I'm going to verify to you that my gun is clear before I start actually breaking it down. Um, I've only had this gun for about a year. Um, I'm familiar with Smith & Wesson. Uh, my very first carry gun was a Smith & Wesson Shield 9mm. And since then I have upgraded or updated. I wouldn't really say it's an upgrade because each person is different and I don't ever want to bash a gun company or a gun specifically. Um, the shield just didn't work for me. Uh, now I carry a Glock 43 and I'm hoping that in the future I will be able to do another gun cleaning and show you a smaller frame gun and how I clean it and the different tools and tips that I use along the way. So let's get this gun going. Again, I'll show you it's clear. Just want to make sure. Uh, the first thing you want to do is take your slide off of the main base of the gun. Terminology here is very limited. I'm going to keep you on like layman's terms. I do not know all the technical terms. If you want technical terminology, there are so many other videos out there, so many other people that do wonderful videos on like very precise and very uh, specific terms. And if you want that where you know everything and you're, you want the, the terminology, go to those videos. I'm going to give it to you how I see it and the different words and nomenclature I use. Hopefully that helps because I'm hoping that I do a good job on just breaking it down and making it easy. I mean, it's pretty basic. It's a barrel, a trigger, some guns have safeties, multiple safeties, however you look at it. So let's get to this. First thing you want to do 
is lock the side back and have it open. There's a mechanism here that you have to flip down on this gun specifically. Again, this is a Smith & Wesson M&P 9mm Performance Center. If you have a different gun, breakdown is a little bit different. This is specific to this gun. Once you have this lever down, you release your side and you actually have to pull the trigger. That's why I was very uh, adamant on verifying that my chamber is clear because you do have to pull the trigger to release the side from the base. Your gun is in two pieces now and as you can see I just shot this today. It's a little dirty. Yeah, that means I did a good job. If your gun's always clean, that means you're not shooting it, right? I think so. All right, here is the spring. Again, I'll try to show it to you. It fits up in this hole here and actually gets pressed up against your barrel. Um, that helps with, I want to say resistance, but that's probably not the right, right terminology. But all you do is kind of pop that out, comes right out. Now you're able to pull your barrel. On this, I notice that you kind of have to like wiggle it out a little bit. Kind of, it doesn't just fall out, which is probably a good thing. And as you can see, <laughs> cleaning a gun, you get pretty dirty. But it's really satisfying. I don't really mind it. As you can tell, I also don't really do my nails either because why do your nails when it's just going to get dirty and messed up? Every time I do my nails, it's not worth it. I just mess them up. I'm going to grab a rag, uh, again because my gun is filthy and I want to keep it somewhat clean in here, maybe. Alright, different parts, pieces, there you go. That's pretty much all that you need to do to start cleaning your gun. Sorry about that. Um, I grabbed Q-tips and a boar snake. So, barrel with the boar snake, all I do is you feed your boar snake through the barrel like so. And you just pull. Looking down the barrel, you want all of the debris to actually be removed from that barrel. And that's all that you really use the boar snake for, is just to clean the barrel. Uh, the next item that I use is this breakthrough solvent. And all that I really do is spray the gun parts and pieces down. Spray the slide. And I don't really do much on the actual like receiver part of the gun. Um, if I notice that it's really grimy, I might do a little bit where the slide rides on the receiver. All right, next thing, after you let the solvent sit for a little bit, you just wanna give a good wipe down. And you'll see how grimy a gun can be. But you can kinda see, just from the barrel, that's how much grime you're getting off of it. So I'm just gonna keep wiping this down and I will come back once all this stuff is wiped out. Alright, that was pretty much it. I'm gonna go in a little bit harder on the slide. I noticed a couple spots have some buildup. So a couple points. I'm hoping that you can see this, but your firing pin is like right in there. And I always see that there's buildup in these little like crevices here. So I usually try to take a, like a fine cloth, sometimes paper towel works, um, but most of the time it's a Q-tip. And I try to get in there and just clean it up a little bit. And because this is a, a compensator slide and barrel, you do get some debris up on the top here. And I just try to do a little bit better job cleaning that out. So again, I'm going to take some of the, the breakthrough solvent and a lovely Q-tip.
I'm going to spray the Q-tip down, and I'm also going to spray in that area that I just showed you. I'm going to let that sit for a little bit, and I will be back when it's ready to actually continue wiping down. Alright, about 40 seconds to a minute past. I'm sure you could let it sit a little longer if you really wanted to, um, but I'm kind of impatient. And it's dark, and I'm tired, and I'm kind of ready to go to bed. But I thought this was beneficial for you guys, so I'm doing it because I love you. Alright, so I just did a wipe down again with the paper towel. I did see more debris come off, so I'm pretty happy about that. But now I'm just going to go in a little bit more with the Q-tip, and just do a little bit more of a fine cleaning. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. Again, you probably can't see the difference on camera, but I'll show it to you. Um, I did leave some, I'm going to go through again with the paper towel and clean that up. I'm not going to leave it like that. Like, I just wanted to show that it did get a little bit more of a fine cleaning. There's still some buildup in there. I would really have to go through with a pick and clean that out, but I don't really have time right now and it's not that bad. I mean you can see it, but it's not going to really tamper with the gun. So I'd really like to hear from all of you. What are some of your tips and tricks on how to clean a firearm? Now we got to put it back together. But you don't want to just put it back together without actually uh, adding some lubrication because there's a lot of moving parts in a pistol. This bottle looks pretty sad, but uh, we use the Breakthrough um, Battleborn Oil. And usually, what I do, and I'm sure everybody's a little bit different, but I like to put the oil on my hands and more or less rub my hands in the different spots. Except for there's a couple spots that I actually put dabs of oil on the gun specifically um, because I think those are more of a high friction area on the gun. So, take a little bit of oil, and again, there's so many different brands of oil. You don't have to go with Breakthrough. Um, we just found that it works for all of the guns that we have. Um, <laughs> my one pointer to this oil and to the solvent is they don't smell. There's a couple different sprays that have this crazy foul smell and when I first started cleaning guns I couldn't handle that smell like a picture almost like a skunk in a can and that was the smell that it had so I'm really happy that this breakthrough oil and solvent has no smell I don't I don't want this our gun room isn't that big. It, it looks really nice, but it's it's small. It's not that big. So if you had to put skunk butt in this little space, it's not fun. Okay, so what I just did there, just wiped down the barrel and the spring. Um, I don't really do anything in this area. Um, a little bit of the oil I will rub down, but I don't put like full drops of oil in this portion. Um, just enough to give it a light coating. Nothing too crazy. And again, oil's gonna get on the slide. I'm, I will go through and clean that up um, because when I grip my gun I don't want oil everywhere. But for the sake of putting it back together, I don't have an issue with a little bit of oil showing as I'm touching it with oily hands. So don't be afraid to get your gun, gun dirty. Um, you do have an opportunity to clean it. Again, you put it back the way that I took it apart. So your barrel sits back in that little chamber. Again, terminology isn't all there. I hope you can get a good laugh with uh, the different nomenclature and words I use when I'm cleaning guns. And then you have to use a little bit of force to put your spring back in place, but that's it right there. Your slide with barrel and spring is put back together. Pretty simple, 
Other guns might be more complex than this. This is how this gun specifically is put back together. Just keep that in mind. If you're coming across this and you don't even own a MMP, hopefully this is still some good advice on the cleaning side of it. Alright, so the different areas that I find are high friction is this rail here, here, and here. This is where your slide rides back and forth as your round, multiple rounds are being chambered through your gun. So your slide is constantly moving back and forth, forth every time you pull the trigger. So those couple spots, I actually put a dab of oil on each one. Not a huge amount, but just enough to put your slide back on. Sometimes when my gun is really dirty, I feel like I need to do a little bit more. And I've actually ran it. There's a, a little bit of like a slide, like a rail in here, cut out. And that's where your slide rides on those, those four parts on the receiver. I have put oil in there, um, but most of the time, that little bit that you put on those four spots do a, a perfect job. Okay, so... This is a little bit tricky with this gun. You want to make sure that this is facing down and you bring your slide and you have to put it over those four adapters, the rail actually. Okay, so now it's there. You can see it's still not locked in. You actually have to pull it back. And you see as I did that, that little mechanism that I had down flipped up. So now it's not just hanging there, it's actually locked in place. So the reason why I pull the slide back like I do is to get that oil that I put on those four positions throughout that slide. So now that slide area is well lubricated. Again, my hands are oily, so I want to just rub off some of that oil on my hands because I'm still going to be touching my gun. Alright, now you can kind of see what I was talking about with the different areas that the oil is at. You can kind of see here it's a little shiny there. And there's no reason that the oil needs to be on the outside of the gun like that. Also, every time you touch it, like my grip has some oil in it too. It's not good. So I just do a quick rub down. There you go. Pretty simple. Nothing too crazy. Um, I shoot this gun for competition. And I don't know if you can see it, but my red dot is pretty dirty. Again, I'm, I shoot a, a Vortex Venom red dot on this pistol. Alright, we're almost done here. My husband and I get these lens cleaning wipes. Pretty sure we picked them up from Walmart or Walgreens. Alright, again, pretty simple. Get in there and start cleaning and you'll, I'll show you how dirty this wipe gets after I clean it because it's pretty ridiculous. You wouldn't think that there would be that much dirt that would get up on a red dot. Alright, I think we're pretty good. I'm going to do a quick sight picture, make sure I can see. Yeah, it looks pretty clean. I think I missed one little spot. I'm going to go back. Yeah, I got it that time. Alright, and that's it. Gun's put back together. You got some lubrication in it. And it's ready to go. I got another competition coming up on Saturday. And this is one last thing I have to do before then. I'm going back to your wipe. You can kind of see the couple spots on there. Like right there, right there. That's pretty much from front and back. Definitely worth getting some lens cleaner. If you don't have it, I definitely recommend it. Especially if you're shooting with a red dot on whatever gun you have. Let me know in the comments below what gun you would like me to clean next. Obviously we got quite a few to choose from. And again, my concealed carry is a Glock 43. Husbands out there, if your wife owns a gun, teach her how to clean it. 
Hopefully you can use my little demonstration to get her more involved because I think the more that you handle your gun, the more familiar you are with it, the more likely you're going to be able to use it in a potential life and death situation. That's all I got for you today. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.